Hi, my name is Molly, and this is how I make a budget. This is step one. The very first thing I do is write everything down. That way I can see at a glance the fixed expenses that are coming due, when they are coming due, how much I'm going to have to have for that time period. And then I total it all up so I know this is the goal we have to reach in order to meet just our fixed expenses. Note this is just fixed expenses. It does not include groceries or fuel, our habits, hobbies, and miscellaneous. This is bare bones bills. So at a glance, I can tell we are pushing close to spending more than we're bringing in with this number. But I need to dive deeper to get my real numbers. The next thing I do is I go through our bank statement and I take a look at our pattern of behavior. I sort every dollar and total that up to figure out where the money is going, what we're spending on, what's the pattern. These are all of my variable expenses. And I will also make a list for my income because our income is also variable. So I'll take a look for those three months, what our income was and what were we spending every single penny on for that particular month. So three months from the bank statement, and then I will do the same thing with our credit card statements. So this is going to give me the big picture of not only what our fixed expenses are, but where our variable dollars are going. We have our big picture, and now we need to see where the money was spent. What is our actual pattern of spending behavior? What are the real numbers we could use to create our budget? If you look at March, April, and May, I totaled up all the variable expenses. March had the least amount of money spent on variables with 1823. April had 2183, and May had a whopping 3184. These numbers are in addition to the 3632 we need to pay our fixed expenses, our monthly bills. So in order to get a realistic budget, I have to look at what we typically spend and search for opportunities for improvement and cutbacks because we have a lot of debt and our spending is a little out of control. So that's why we're doing this. Because our income is variable, I have to make a budget based on average income, our pattern of behavior, and income history. So if I total up March, April, and May and get the average, I get 5355 if I total fixed expenses of 3632 and add that to the March pattern of behavior of 1823, I get 5,455. And if I look at our income history, I can see I'm in the window. These numbers are realistic. They are doable. So I'm going to lean on the more conservative 5161 to start my budget. I have my month goal of 5161. I say goal because our income varies, but 5161 is doable if all goes according to plan and there's work and no one gets sick and no one gets injured. It should work. So 5161, fixed expenses of 3632 leaves $1,529 for variables. This is less than the 1823 spent during our analysis of our pattern of spending behavior for that month of March. But if I'm tracking it, I think I can reach that 1529 goal. I divide the 1529 by four. This is what I can spend each week. And that comes to $382.25. All of these variables go on one credit card. At the end of the week, I pay off the 382.25 that I put on that credit card. The idea, idea being that I will not go over this amount in my spending. That's why it's crucial to track what I have coming up this week and every dollar I spend. I track seven days, Wednesday to Wednesday. I work out of state three days a week and that's when my work week starts on a Wednesday. So that's my fresh start. That's when I start my new tracking. And I try to improve each week on my spending and pay down my debt. So on the right side of my money tracker, I have my budget numbers for the variables of my daily spending. On the left, and that includes my husband's spending as well. He doesn't spend as much as I do, so it's really me. So on the left, I have bills due. And this week, it's there's not much. We're at the end of the month, so we don't get hit with the stuff at the end of the month. It's usually the first of the month where we get hit and hit hard. So in the circle 
on the money tracker, I total the two numbers, the bills due and my variables, and I get my dollar goal for the week. This week, we need to make $561.25. We are literally week to week. It's, it's paycheck to paycheck. We get paid weekly, so we are week to week. I make a consistent $504 net, and that leaves $57.25 for my husband to get this week. Or we have to sell something, or we have to come up with a side hustle, or, you know, <laughs> or just stuff falls apart. So the bottom portion of my money tracker is where I log those variable daily expenses as they happen. If I wait to the end of the week to log it in, I find I overspend every single time. And I do want to explain further how I use this credit card to pay down my debt fast, but I'll do that in my next video. It is fascinating stuff. I was not taught this in school. I just came across Velocity Banking. I don't know if you've heard of it, but there's a woman who I think she's from my area that she teaches it. And just, I was watching, I was like, that just doesn't make sense. But then all of a sudden, like three weeks into binge watching her videos, it clicked. And so I'll be doing some videos to show how I'm going to incorporate that into, into my plan to pay off debt because it's, it's amazing. So if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave your feedback in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.